Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually activate a standalone license. For this video, I will be using a Windows 10 virtual machine. Before we get started, I want to review the end user license agreement. And you can see here that you are not allowed to use a standalone license with the software in a virtual machine. So what I'm doing right now is for demonstration and testing purposes only. Generally, you need to activate a standalone license manually when your machine cannot connect to the Visual Components license server. In my virtual machine, I'll access network and internet settings. I'll now click Change Adapter Options, and I will disable the network interface card of this machine. Exit out of this, and now I'm not connected to the internet. I'll now try to run Visual Components 4.0. And since I have not already provided a product key, I need to do this now using the activation guide. I'll click Next. The type of product key I'm using is a standalone product key. I now have to provide the product key. In my case, I will be using an evaluation license that is good for 14 days. So I'll paste it here, then click Next. This will validate the key and now it noticed I do not have an internet connection so I need to perform manual activation by following these four steps. The first step is to generate an activation request file. So I'll click the generate button and then save the file. We get a green check mark so far so good and now we need to upload this file to the license portal at this address here. In my main machine I'll open a web browser now navigate to that site. It's https license.visualcomponents.net. If you forget the address, you can always go to the Visual Components website. It's www.visualcomponents.com. And I will make my web browser bigger. And up at the top right corner, you have a link called licensing, and this will take you to the licensing portal. From here, you have to sign into your portal account. If you don't have one, you can click the register now button here. I'll go ahead and sign on. Okay, I'm now logged into my account. From here, you want to click Manual Licensing, and you're going to use these options to upload that activation request file. I need to go back and get the file from my virtual machine. And I saved it in my documents. So I will copy this file, and then put it in the Downloads folder of my main machine. Let's now upload this file to the license portal. So from here I'll click choose file and then select the file here, open it, and now to confirm this I need to click the upload file button. The file is now uploaded and you can see here the request type it's an activate product key and this is a new request so to activate the product key I need to click the confirm button. The status right now is pending but just wait a bit and now the process is completed and the license is activated. But I still need to download that license file. So I'll click the button here. And now I need to upload that license file to my 4.0 product. And I'll show you how to do that now. I'll minimize my browser. And then in my downloads folder, here's the activated license file. So I need to copy this and put it onto my virtual machine. And now if I minimize this, We've already completed steps one and two. We now need to upload the license file. I'll click the upload button and select the license file here and open it. We get a green check mark. So far, so good. And we have one last step. So click activate and everything worked out. So I'm now using a standalone license, which is an evaluation license that is good for 14 days. So now I'll click finish and this will now run the software and I can start using it. Okay, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com and I hope you have a wonderful day.